So this is the goal. And these have been in my care for a few years. So this is the goal, this is what we're trying to get to, this nice, rich, dark green. Hi friends, I'm Karina with Sacred Elements. Welcome to my channel. Now let's get started. Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought it would be a really good idea to do a follow-up to my Marimo Moss Ball experience. How to truly take care of these and how to make them thrive. So I thought it would be nice to do kind of a recap. And this was the same vase that I had in the last video. If you saw the other videos from a, from a little over a year ago. This water's a little bit dirty. You can kind of see some things floating around. Some of them are floating at the top, that's normal. Some of them sink. It has to do with um, photosynthesis and also if there's air trapped in the inside. Totally normal, both of them are fine and healthy. So I thought it'd be fun to start out here just to see because this is where these vessels live. This is a north facing bright window so it never gets direct light. Ever. Um, the only time my Marimos are in a window is in the middle of winter and it's still just it's a very very faded light so the only time you can really stick them in, in, in any kind of real light exposure is in a very faded light exposure like a winter sun type of thing or just not at all so I have found that like a north facing window is ideal so I just brought back from not being so happy and it's actually it's, it's looking much better it's still a little bit brown you can see some of the brown spots there but it's way better than it was even a week ago and I will show you my tips and tricks so let's get started okay so here is what I have learned over the last few years. These Marimo are, if you can tell the difference here, I wanna just point this out before I move on to talk about these amazing vessels. Okay, let's look at this up close. You see the difference in color between this set of Marimo in my beer glass? <laughs> They're in the recovery station. And then this, do you see how much darker and healthier these look. So this is the goal. And these have been in my care for a few years. So this is the goal, this is what we're trying to get to, this nice, rich, dark green. As opposed to this kind of lighter green with a little bit of a, kind of almost like a brown tinge to it. Do you also see these little, how the water's kind of cloudy, almost swampy? And it even has some like little floaties around here. So we're gonna try to get rid of that as well. There's gonna always be a little bit in the water, of course, but if you see the difference between this water and this water, I actually haven't even changed. I've changed the water at the same time in both of these vessels. And you can see the difference. That's something that's a big clue as to the health of the Marimo. So the water, what it looks like, the, the transparency of the water and the, the color of the actual Marimo itself. Those are the two things I feel like we should focus on today. So it's actually good that I felt the temperature of the water because it reminded me of another tip that I have learned over the last two years, which is water temperature. So this obviously makes more sense during the warmer months of the year or if you keep your house really warm in the winter. The water temperature of Marimo, if you can imagine them in their natural habitat, they want to be in cold lakes. So um, the northern regions of Japan and Iceland and Scotland that's where they um, grow naturally. So a warm water temperature, even though they're happy and healthy, it's kind of like a treat, like they go on vacation is kind of how I think of it. I'll stick them in the refrigerator for a day, <laughs> or I will just add a couple ice cubes to the water and give them kind of just this nice little refresh. So as far as the water changes go, I'm gonna say the same thing I said when I did the original video. Um, I still change the water about once a week to once every two weeks, and they seem really, really happy when they're in this healthy state. However, when we're dealing with the kind of sick Marimo that I'm trying to bring back to a healthy state, I change the water way more often. So I'm not gonna add the ice cubes because I'm gonna change the water when I'm done. 
Here's what I do for the sick Marimo. The Marimo that look a little brown and just a little lighter green, not so dark and healthy. So I take each one of them out. I go to the kitchen sink or to the bathroom and I squeeze each one just like I did before. So let me just show you. It's important to keep their form, their shape. So you're gonna wanna give it like a little squeeze. You don't wanna tear them apart. You squeeze out all the old water so they're nice and light like this. And then I place them on the counter. I usually do that in the kitchen. I do that with each one of the Marimo balls that I'm gonna wash. Then I get the vessel, whatever the vessel is going to be, if it's gonna be one of these fantastic, beautiful new vessels that are hitting my shop soon, or if it's a vase that you currently have, or if you're like me and I separate out the sick Marimo into like a glass or whatever is handy, and I put them in the kitchen to remind me to go ahead and change the water more frequently. So what I do is I actually change the water out with cold tap water. I change the water out once every two or three days instead. And I squeeze the Marimo, set them down, rinse the glass out really well, even give it like a swipe with a sponge, rinse it, rinse it, nice cold tap water. So my newest trick, and I had tried it before, but um, I've really, really seen incredible results with this. Now, I hope I don't get in trouble with some of you out there <laughs> for not using aquarium salts, because I have to say just real sea salt, whatever brand you may use, that's been working for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, try this, because it has worked for me. So what I do is I change out the water for the sick Marimo, so say, pretend, let's pretend this is clean, new water, and I do this, just about that much, just a little tiny bit, mix it in, and then I let the sick Marimo hang out in that water. And it's ideally nice, cold, fresh tap water. Again, we're not gonna keep them in the sun. It's just indirect, bright light only. And then every two or three days, go ahead and change it and do it all over again. The other trick I have learned is using carbonated water. So that increases the photosynthesis. It basically, the, um, the CO2 uptake is quicker. So it increases photosynthesis in the Marimo moss balls. You can do that with the sick Marimo about once a week or once every two weeks um, after a water change. And I actually just pour a whole can of like LaCroix, just plain LaCroix into the water. I let it basically like all the, the carbonation slowly goes away. And then I change out the water after a few days, just like I normally would with tap water. So you can do that. I've had luck doing that about once every week to two weeks with the sick ones. So I think that over the years I've learned that these are an amazing, amazing um, house plant. They're super easy to take care of. They're a fun aquatic plant. A lot of you use them in your, um, in your fish tanks, obviously. These tricks are things that you do apart from the fish tank. These are things you do just as when the marimos are on their own or if they're in these beautiful vessels um, with like rocks. I love the rocks and the crystals with marimo. It just adds such a nice like aesthetic. So pretty. So look for my um, new line. This is the exciting new line that Patricia and I just made together. I helped her design them and she did the incredible work of making these unbelievable vessels for the Marimo. And they're gonna come as a little kit with a little baby Marimo and either a crystal or a rock and um, shipped right to your door. So you have your own one of a kind Marimo vessel. I think we're gonna call them Mossy. We haven't quite decided yet, but it'll be um, kind of a unique sacred elements um, thing for you to have in your home for your Marimo moss balls. Okay friends, thanks so much for subscribing and for being a part of my YouTube family here. I really appreciate it. Cheers. Thanks so much for subscribing. If you'd like to connect with me daily, head on over to Instagram at Sacred Elements, or you can find me on my website at sacredelementspdx.com. Be sure to hit that bell for notifications. Cheers, friends.